वन ऑफ द टास्क वेयर लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल स्ट्रगल इज मैथ हैंडलिंग इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू इंस्टॉल अ ब्रांड न्यू मॉडल नोमिना मैथ सेवन बिलियन ऑन अवर लोकल सिस्टम एंड देन ट्राई इट आउट ऑन वेरियस मैथ्स बेंच मार्क दिस नोमिना मैथ क्लेम्स टू सॉल्व ऑल द डेफिशंसिस एंड लिमिटेशंस ऑफ सेवन बिलियन रेंज मॉडल्स वेन इट कम्स टू मैथेमेटिक्स This is a 7 billion parameter math LLM fine tuned in two stages of supervised fine tuning first on a data set with math problem solution pairs and then on synthetic data set with example of multi step generation using tool integrated reasoning This nomina math is primarily a series of language models that are trained to solve math problems using tool integrated reasoning or TIR It also won the first progress prize of the AI Math Olympiad with a score of 29 out of 50 on the public and private data sets. This model is a fine-tuned version of DeepSeq Math 7 billion with two stages of supervised fine-tuning. In the stage 1, they have fine-tuned the base model on a large diverse data set of natural language math problems and solutions where each solution is templated with chain of thought to facilitate reasoning in the second stage they have fine tuned the model from stage 1 on a synthetic data set of tool integrated reasoning where each math problem is decomposed into a sequence of rationals python programs and their outputs they have also followed microsoft's tora paper and have prompted gpt4 to produce solutions in the tora format with code execution feedback Fine tuning on this data produces a reasoning agent that can solve mathematical problems via mix of NLP reasoning and use of the Python REPL to compute intermediate results. So let's see. First, we we will install it locally and then we will play it out on various math problems. Before I show you the installation, let me give a huge shout out to Math Compute who are sponsoring the GPU and VM. for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of gpus this is ubuntu vm which i am using ubuntu 22.04 and my nvidia card is this nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram let me clear the screen I will install everything within Coda so that to keep everything nice and simple and separate. And we will be using Jupyter Notebook. This is my Coda which is already there, twenty four point five point zero. And now let me create that Coda environment. I'm just calling it Nomina. Let's wait for it to get created. Coda is activated now. Let's clear the screen. and now let me install the jupyter notebook and then let launch it and these commands are going to launch it in a new browser window so let's wait for it to get launched jupyter notebook is there let's install all the prerequisites which include transformers torch of course and accelerate sentence piece let's wait for it to get installed Okay. everything is installed now let's try to import these libraries which we have installed which include torch and pipeline from transformers that is all done now let's download our model which is nomina math 7 billion and then we will put it into the pipeline let me run it and you can see that it has started downloading the model there seems to be three shards and the size is around 5 kg so make sure that you have that much space on your system if you are following through plus you can see that we have set the device map to auto which means that it is going to gpu let's wait for it to get downloaded and now third shard is being downloaded and after that it is going to load it on to our gpu and that should be done so and then that is all good so not only model has been downloaded plus tokenizer is also there let's define a prompt template so you see in this one we have defined the role of user and then content is a prompt 
and there's a <clears throat> math problem let me break it down maybe okay i think i'll just show you for this now so you see the math problem is for how many values of the constants dollar k dollar will the polynomial this have two distinct integer roots and then we are applying the chat template for the tokenizer and piping it and then setting the prompt and then these are the few of the parameters where we are specifying the max output tokens and then we are disabling the sampling this is the stop string and then we are specifying the tokenizer so let me run it and that is all done and now finally let's send this to model and generate the output so let me run it it is going to produce the output of this polynomial and now look at this response and just marvel at the technology so first there was a problem around that polynomial and then the model has given us the solution and it has started with describing this problem and then how it is going to proceed about that that given a quadratic polynomial it is going to denote its root and all that stuff and then it is all chain of thought step by step it is progressing through the problem divide and conquer and then towards the end it is just using python to iterate through all possible pair, pairs there you go it has used the python it has calculated it and then it has given us a whole program to solve that math problem how good is that and you can readily run that code which it has produced here like this and then it has produced you the answer here simply amazing simply out of this world okay let's try out few more problems in the next question i am using a number theory question which is what is the sum of all positive integers less than 1000 that are congruent to 1 modulo 13 let's see what it does and it is working let's wait for it so that is done and now let me ask the model to generate the output model is working and now the answer by the way for this question is eight elements so let's see if model gets it right model has come back there you go so if i come down here that is very very well done and this is a python code which has it has done amazing stuff let me let me print it there you go seems correct to me amazing stuff okay so that is a number theory let's try out one algebra question and what i'm going to do i'm just going to remove the output of the previous question okay so i have combined all of these to make it easier to read so in this question i'm asking it let g be a group of order 24 how many elements of g or have order 3 let's see what model does it is going to produce the output and then it is going to Show us the Python code and it is going to run that Python code in the string. Let's wait for it to come back. And there we have our answer. Let's go down. You see how good is that? Not only it has given us a response, but also the full Python code which we can run. And there is our output 16. Amazing stuff. And you see how it is using all those functions. And these are quite complex problems. I have tried them out on various models they have never worked so i'm quite surprised that this model can do it okay let's try out another one and now next up let's try out a geometry question and you can see that this is a triangle abc the angle bisector of angle a intersects side bc at point d if ab is equal to 6 ac 8 and bd is equal to 3 what is the length of tc let's see what model does and there you go so model has come back with the response again it has defined the problem it is going into the solution with chain of thought these are the given values and then by sector theorem yep spot on and then cross multiplying to solve for this amazing you can even learn math with this easily and there you go we have our output it has even run the code in the string great stuff okay now let's try out one calculus problem and now if you look at this one in this calculus we are saying that evaluate the definite 
integral and then we have given it the equation so if i go down there you go so very quickly and nicely it has evaluated it it has given us the solution step by step and then it has given us the answer after implementing it in the python so amazing stuff you can see from algebra to geometry from calculus to number theory logic model is simply amazing not only it gives us the answer but it shows you how to get it and it even implements it in the python code so really sublime model i would say really excellent stuff i will drop the link to model card in video description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching